Hello, hi, welcome back to Monster Train. It is, it is I, Cranberry, once again. I feel like this mic might not be facing the right way, like a little bit, like it's a little bit off center. Let me move it around. That seems pretty good. Uh, hey, welcome, welcome back to the training. It's me, Cranberry. Um, anything new to talk about at the start here? I feel like no. I feel like we got nothing new going on. Um, of course, just gotta reiterate, as always, it's I'm the real Cranberry. Uh, please stand up. Um, we have a win streak of one, and if you're an asshole out there, you'll say it doesn't count because I forgot to get the last ten pack shards. But let, let's be real, the infinite was gonna work. Let, let's be real about it, okay? Like you know, I think we can all agree on that. What we can't agree on though is how to start this runoff here. Two wild with saps, two vents, and then an engraft here. Good, good backline clear, but we're going to struggle with heavies for a really long time. We're against Seraph the Chase too, so regen is not a great long-term strategy. Um, we do have a lot of healing cards, so maybe we're supposed to try to play Explosive Sentient here. The handle those early game heavies. Um, I don't know. Sap tap is fine. Um, yeah, I think I'll take a sap tap. One draw every turn versus five draw on first turn. I'll take the one draw every turn. I think that's a little bit better. Cultivating an explosive. Ah. Well, we gotta go back to normal speed here. And by normal, I mean ultra. Um. I. I don't know if cultivating is enough. I mean, we have actually we have torches. Let's take cultivating. Let's torch our own our own sentient here. That's the line. And we're going to skip this because I feel pretty weak here. I will take the unit draft though because unit drafts are worth all of the damage coming to us for taking this. Um, okay. Cultivate up. Forgot about sap tap. I don't know, maybe we can just kill this Foot Soldier by some miracle, I don't know. No? Never mind. Okay. Um. Let's just prepare to take our damage. If that's how it's gonna be, that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, whatever. We trade we trade 15 pyre health for a. More than 15, actually. Shit, this guy's making it through as well. We trade some Pyre Health for a unit draft. That I'm okay with. Play like final tally is at 19. I think it's worth it. Okay. What do you got for me, game? Ooh, I think I want a restoration detonation. Part of my new my new philosophy is taking cards that kill kill heavies more readily. And restoration detonation does do that for sure. Um, kind of hard to skip a welder helper, but we're not really focused on healing so much, or armor. I mean, I should say I'm not really focused on armor too much on this run. But it is just 20 armor. Pretty good deal. We have torches to kill it, sure. Okay. We can maybe we can maybe do some rail beating here. Find find some multis, go to town. I don't hate it. Maybe we find Animus of Will here and infuse it on. Ooh, we get a multi strike in the shop too. This is looking like a pretty good start. Pretty lucky. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Uh, I guess we're steel singing today, right? Like, what are we supposed to do here? Steel sing. This early, getting getting this boy with a multi strike in the shop. Like, come on. How do you not take this? Will it be good? I don't know. Uh, we can and we can play rail beater as the actual tank in front of it too. We can play Rail Beater and Steel Singer, and Rail Beater softens them, and Steel Singer hits them and kills them. I don't, I don't hate that at all. 
Um, and I think I like a true stone on this restoration detonation. This held over seems like it's a winning a winning strategy for us here. Box up heavies. 100 piercing damage is really good on that on that, and it also heals the steel slinger, which is important. Spikes three. I think we can handle this. I think this is not going to be an issue. The steel singer should be able to kill these. I think. And I guess we're going sentient here first. You're too big. My bad. Collector, thank you very much. Okay, where's my where's my healing? Hello? Yeah, that works. We're taking some pirate damage from this guy having spikes now. Oof, that was more than I expected it would be. Okay. Keep in mind, Seal Singer is in fact four space, not three. Important to note for the future. Um, I will skip these. I will take uh, definitely the left side here. Pyre remains plus upgrades for Seal Singer is a is a pretty solid get here, I would say. And and you don't put endless on this thing, do you? No, you do not. You do not put endless on here. We definitely look for another multi strike. Um, temple, what's going on in here? Twin stone. Honestly, I like twin stone on the engraft. We lower the cost of this, and then it's just like, it's just free money. Because we, we, we don't care too much about the health that heals, we care about the healing triggers. That's what we're looking for on that one. Definitely reroll. Wow, okay, you know what? Monster Train, I've complained about you a lot lately. You're doing me a solid here, and I appreciate it. I can't. I cannot complain about this run right now. Um. We need. To, we need. To, we don't need to look. We should look for an infusion for this guy too. We're gonna want one eventually. Um. Rare draft pick here, huh? I'll take. I'll take rare Stygian draft pick. We can get like a an ancient synergy. It'd be pretty nice. Um, we're definitely taking energy, I believe. So with that in mind, deep offering should be pretty good in this deck. Yeah, with sap tap and with the uh, steel singer costing three, we definitely need energy, like as soon as possible. Um. Okay. So now that our brains are working, we do have to keep in mind. Oh, you know what? We can't play these. If we draw the Steel Singer, we're fucked. So we're not going to play Restore. We're not going to play Deep Offering here. Very spooky. Are you, you're not. You are Days. Shit. Okay, that might cause some problems. Um, we'll see how it goes. You're going to come top floor. We're going to leak a little bit, but that's not a huge deal. These guys, you know, they don't even do any damage, really. That's okay. And we and we cut through these chumps, no problem. Definitely killed those. Don't want to overstack this heavy floor coming up. Okay. This seems good to me. We want to stall in Relentless for as long as possible here to get as many uh, Rejuvenates as we can get. So, I don't think we're going to stall for very long though. I'm looking at it here and this Railbeater does get a lot of damage on Talos. And it's going to leave it with a melee weakness. Um, oh, you know what? 
Train Steward here might actually cause us to deal less damage to the Talos overall. Which will be, yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and fucking kill this guy too. That's some, that's some tactical espionage right there. Train Steward getting in the way of things. Any zero cost heals? Yeah, I don't think that wasn't gonna happen. Okay. We have no rage, so I'll take an awoken rail spike. That's pretty solid. What the fuck are you doing here? Apex Imp. Apex Imp, what are you what are you doing here? You, you can't you can't be here, Apex Imp. It's not appropriate. Um I wonder if we're supposed to take this Husk Hermit and just put it behind the uh, the Steel Singer. I don't think so. I think we're supposed to find uh, like a true stone for this Glimmer to handle backline. Although I don't know, not positive. Yeah, I think we just skip it. Definitely energy here first, and now we just go to all the spell shops we can find and upgrade our healing spells. Oh, hello, Malika. Um. I mean, like, Steel Singer can't die. Like, it just has too much health. It's doing too much damage. Like, and I think it 1v1s, uh, what's it called? Uh, Crystal Cloak. So not even that can stop us. But I think we can take the, the value broken wheel here. We'll leave everything else behind. Um, spell shops. Spell shops, for sure. Oh, boom. It, it is just that easy sometimes. Definitely Restoration Detonation first, and then Glimmer second. You know, there's no guarantee we'll find a True Stone for it, so... Yeah. Uh, I guess you can put this on Event 2 for this, the general value of it. Like I said before, you can Graft. Easy play there. Animus of Will is a good infusion. We do have to not play it. But that's going to be our infusion, I'm pretty sure. Fairly certain. Party boy, huh? No armor. No armor for the units here. They're coming in with some pretty big damage, it looks like. Oh, fuck. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't kill yourself. Don't, don't draw into our boy. Okay. Train steward down. And honestly, if, if Red Leader dies, like, it's, it's not even an issue, really. Kind of okay for us. I think it might actually be better. Like, yeah, I think we want him to die. Let's, let's start, let's start working on this, this sentient, I guess. Oh, that's good. Should have been more cognizant and played the train steward instead of doing that, but we got lucky, I guess. Just remove this from the deck. Keep on healing. Party boy, you win. You party boy, you don't even win this. What the hell? Party, party boy. Party boy. Are you kidding me? I should have been torching Rail Beater this whole time. God damn it. You're supposed to win. Ugh. Why, Rail Beater, why? I'll keep taking more in graphs, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna skip those bad boys. This is a skip though. We don't need the Inferno, we should be fine, I think. It, probably. Maybe. We'll see. Um definitely I definitely wanna go right side here. 
I'm pretty confident at least. Get some more spell upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. Permafrost. I guess on a Woken Rail Spike is fine. But I don't think it's worth the money here. It's not like a you know an essential card for us. You just lower the cost of deep offering. Put another server set on event. Reroll. Okay, we have holdover for the glimmer. All we need is that now is just like you know some spell damage upgrades there, and we should be good to go. Cavern. What's the cavern got for us here? Oh, some uh, garbage. I don't know, is Prismal Dust worth a slot in here? I don't think so. Like it's okay, I'm the Seal Singer. I don't I don't really want it. I'll just take the money. Uh We need to make sure we don't go short on shards here, so I guess we'll take this. We have no rage generation. We have no spikes. So I guess by default we're taking a worn grindstone here. I'm not taking the mark. Ah, take the mark of invasion. As long as we get this, the 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 steel singer soon, we'll be okay. Okay. Um. I have faith that Railbeater will die this time. I believe. So want to do more damage though, I think. Okay, Steel Singer, there you are. I'm gonna say where you at. We could Wildwood Sap here, but I think we just get the collector. Worth a little bit more to me. Hey, uh... Can you guys knock it off for like one second, please? I'm trying to not lose the game. Thank you, thank you. Okay, cool. What was the boss? Was it was it a sweep a sweep lord? I forget who it was. Honestly, just get this out of the deck here at this point, I think. Brief respite. There you go. Oh, it's self-made harpy. Okay, cool. Um. Man, I am a little bit worried about the Steel Singer. A lot of damage. 30 damage per round. We're doing 300. Nah, we'll be greedy. Oh, you're cultivating yourself. That's funny. I didn't realize. Okay, just keep just keep pumping. Oh, and you have a melee weakness left over too, that's pretty nice. Okay. I was never worried. Not even a little bit. Um Storing Retreat, perfect card for us. Edge Pry, there's like a there's like a logic for it, because we could infuse it onto the uh the Steel Singer that's one permanent attack every turn forever. And five health ain't nothing. But I'd just rather have a multi-strike with the with the animus of will that we've been hanging on to for a while. I think that's a better play for us. Um I don't hate a tiresome climb. It will get rid of pesky backliners that are causing issues. 
Um. Yeah, sure, I guess so. We have energy. We can make it work, I think. Oh, hello, hello. Um. I mean, do we want? We still had a train steward in here. I didn't realize shit. Didn't we? We let you die. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive we let this welder helper die at one point. How are you still in here? I I guess I guess giving the welder helper endless is worth it. Um. Yeah. Seems good. Makes our torches not absolutely horrible, basically. Um, we're gonna do the infusion here. What else are we doing while we're here? Um, probably removing this train steward so it stops being in our deck. And we don't really need the unit upgrades, so I think we go left side here for more spell upgrades. Like, uh, double stacking our wild saps are looking pretty appealing now. For these upcoming relentlesses. Not the Seraph, I guess. Seraph's not that appealing. But I think we'll be okay. And there you go. See, look at that. Seems pretty good to me. I really wanted a true stone for the glimmer. Let's look in here first, actually, before we commit. Oh, you know, I'll take extreme stone, actually. That'll work. Extreme stone glimmer works well, more than well enough, honestly. Um, Let's engage in a pact. Animus goes on Steel Singing. A little bit less attack, but hitting one more extra time is definitely worth it here. I don't even hate Seek Stone on... It's probably supposed to go on in Graft here, I think. Yeah, I think we put it on in Graft. Because right now we can play Steel Singer and then play that in Graft. We get the energy back and we trigger... Uh... Sap tap to draw an extra card, so that seems pretty solid. Um, and you know, we'll slap a plus 10 on there too, honestly. Seems fine to me. Just to get some actual substantial healing on it, so it's, it's you know, not hanging out at 40 health right off the bat. I will lower the cost of Deep Offering. At last. I will begin buffing Restores. Again, Free Stone just doesn't seem that useful here. Not not worth the cost to do in business. Gotta be mindful. If we're trying to do endless imp stuff, we have to be aware that uh, we have we have stunstone on the field here. Stunstone is at play. Uh, deep offering. There's some hits, but not many here. I don't think. Like we have. Oh, this fuck is fucking curse combat. I should have played bottom floor. We have enough energy to not worry about it, I think. But it's definitely a misplay. Anyway. Just keep healing. That's all you gotta do. I should have tiresome climbed up the absolver. The vent, the vent we could have played for zero would have been as, as effective. Some wildwood sap on here. Let's make sure we don't lose the relentless here. We gotta make sure we can actually, you know, hang with Arcus. Ah, uh, of course, our, our endless train steward here at last. Okay, it's Daystone, so we can't we can't do Welder Helper here, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. 
I got like a hit or two on Arcus there, which is pretty nice. Oh man, not a good turn for Deep Offering. There's too many spells to play there. Oh, you're Endless too? I didn't realize that, dang. Getting an extra 100 or so damage, seems fine. Okay, this might not win, actually. We don't have that much regen stacked up here. Oh, it just barely gets there. Okay, good. Close one. We get a we get 15 extra stacks, though, basically. Well, not 15 exactly, but we get a lot of extra stacks. Well, less than that. Way less than that. What am I talking about? Yeah, we were, we were a hit away from death there. Wow. Maybe two hits. Ooh, Wildwood Tome, sure. That seems fine. That's worth a slot in the deck, I would imagine. And seeing how that played out there, I think we're taking a space upgrade, and I think we're going to uh, put the Sentient in front of the Steel Singer, so that way we do not lose the Relentless combats. I think that's our answer to Relentless right now. Um... Makes sense to me personally. I think it's gonna work. Um, I would like to remove some things. Um, but I also want to hell vent this glimmer that we have so we can kill all backline forever. Um, so, either go to this hell vent or to this hell vent. And I think we go to this hell vent. And then we go to this magic shop over here. Yeah. I think it's a little bit, little bit better. Let's check the cavern here real quick. What do you got for me, video game? Oh, purge a card? I would love the purge a card. Here you go. One train steward. I will take... Uh, mm, it's got to be an Awoken card, right? Almost, almost certainly an Awoken card here. Yeah. Okay, well that was a mistake. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's some good options there. Not We're kind of good on healing, though. It's, at this point, anything we get healing-wise is overkill. So maybe maybe we could have used, like, a like a, a Dark Deal or something. I don't know. Do you duplicate the Animus of Will here? And just play two floors? I actually kind of like that. Like, they're pretty they're pretty self, self-reliant at this point, I feel like. And we have enough healing to support two of them, I bet. You know what we do here? I think we actually do double double uh, dupes then. Ah, this puts us at a clean 100 exactly. I don't know. Let's do this first. See how we're feeling. Take the cultivating. Hmm. I think this is actually a pretty safe heaven seal. I think if anything's sneaking by us, we're doomed anyway. I think, you, I think you grab that. Oh no. It's happening again. You can play bottom floor here though. Yeah. Easy, easy bottom floor play here on this one. Oh, you fucking rat bastard. You think you're so tough, huh? Nice try. Nice try, bud. Not gonna work, though. I think here the regen is actually more important. Okay. There. An extra cultivate. And uh, yeah, easy fight. 
We don't want to. I mean, we do want to play the glimmers. I think. Yeah, we should play the glimmers. Oh, nope. Wrong button. There you go. We we high rolled this run, I think, pretty hard, I gotta say. This is, I don't think, indicative of a normal uh, Steel Singer run, but it is pretty cool. Um, Are we going Magic Shop? I think we're going Magic Shop, so I will take this Focus Growth. The Heal Spell that draws more cards next turn, that's pretty easy if you ask me. Yeah, we don't need two Steel Singers. This, this is, I believe, a good plan. Sentient and Steel Singer together. I, I, I think that'll work. And at this point, there's just no purpose for the imp. Get you out of here, bud. Sorry to say. I guess, I guess you know, Torch is gone, too. Look in the shops. I'll, I'll just keep... I'll keep sapping. Don't, you don't have to tell me twice on this one. Oh, is this a temple here? No, it's a, it's a pile of money. Okay. Spell pack's good here. We have, we, that makes the uh, rail spike a lot better now. And Trader's Quill is okay, but it's not that much damage. We do have a lot of consume spells. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But is that going to be that relevant? I don't feel like it is. Ooh, a Mark of an Exile on the other hand, though, could be pretty good. These are actually all honestly pretty good. I like, I like, I like Mark the most, I think. Reroll this. What do you hold over? Do you hold over Tiresome Climb with a minus one just to really make sure that Divinity doesn't kill you here? No, because the sweep damage is, inco is inconsequential. And if anything, actually beneficial because it cultivates a sentient. Like, the Glimmer is way gonna... Way outdo the damage he deals. But I think we actually do something like this here. Just to make sure we draw more cards. And then, yeah. Seems pretty good. If we wanted to really, you know, flex in that shop, we could take the Divine Boon. I think we're fine the way we are right now. Um, we'll play it. We'll play it on top floor. That's a good draw. Good draw, too. I don't think we need quick here, honestly. I think we can just focus on healing as much as possible. Getting the cheap hit on the uh, on the on the on Seraph there too is pretty nice. We want to save these wildwood saps. I'm pretty sure until Seraph is climbing the floors. Yeah, not the best targets, but you know, not the worst either. Definitely could have been some worse targets for sure. There we go. Now we'll play the quick book so we don't get Ember Drained. Seems like a, a good decision if you ask me at least. Uh huh. Maybe we just play our held over cards here. And maybe drop restoration at this point just for uh, restores, for extra healing. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. They, they, these guys do seem to be handling things. Seraph's already half health, which is pretty nice. And I think you just I think you opt for the restore here to get extra rejuvenate triggers. Now when we see them we can pop the uh 
you know what they are. The uh, Wobble Saps. Healing. Good. We take quite a bit of damage here on our on our uh, sentient, which is pretty nice. Because the combat's lasting a little bit longer. Not that long though, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, this one this one's a foregone conclusion, I would say. I think I think it's a pretty obvious dub here. I, I don't see how things go wrong. Hell is a stain on our world. Rude. Good. This is worth it too. Should have probably played the uh, the consume torch first though. Hopefully, it doesn't end up mattering too much. And deep offering has been like kind of not very good. Kind of a kind of a, a whiff. Thought it would be better. I th I think it would have been good if we didn't get just so many really strong held over cards to play every turn. Maybe. Again, a little hard to say for sure. Um. And like we're doing so well that this restoration detonation is actually maybe suboptimal, which is, in my opinion, hilarious. Ooh, you love to see that. Okay. Divinity's already at half health. Hmm. We can draw one of our our one in graft here. We have a pretty we have a 50-50 shot at it basically. Hey, he's done it. He's cracked. Yeah, keep healing. Going. Going. Kinkies. Velma. Yeah. We handle this man with, you know, little issue as well. We could, e we could even tire some planet if we wanted to here to get him out of the way, but he does... I mean, he doesn't die, I guess, to that. But I don't know, maybe we, should, maybe we should have considered it. And, you know, it's not too late. We can still just, you know, bump him up there real quick. Get an extra extra hit on, on, on uh, the Divinity here. Okay. Hand was full, didn't realize. Oh well. No, you know. No use crying over spilled milk. We are really wild we could tire some line. One of them to get an extra hit in. But that does not get the kill and does a lot of damage to our own pyre, so let's let's not let's not do that to us. Huh? I think we're about to win here though. I, I think I I feel it coming. Oh, we don't actually get through. Never mind. Uh, false alarm. Now we actually get through 100%. Like, we, we just crushed this man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Glimmers killed the Will Wings. You get one extra hit on the on the man. That is That is how it goes. Nice. Good Steel Singer run, everyone. Great work. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that.
back to back to back uh rare unit carries huh if you consider offering monument a rare unit and not uh just degeneracy incarnate um yeah that's it nothing nothing nothing, nothing else give you the seed hopefully i will see you on the next time seed is tension pounds myself no